everybody and welcome back to Quarantine Kids Storytime. My name's Sasha Cooper and I'm the co-founder of the project. So it's that time again, it's the weekly weekend roundup and I always look forward to this one as we bring you different stories to take you through the weekend going forwards into a new week with new intentions and new energy. So what's coming up on the channel? I will tell you very shortly. Firstly, if you are new to the channel, and I know there's a few of you who are new, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us and supporting the project. A huge shout out to Amsterdam at the moment, as I believe our latest subscriber is over there. Hello to you all over in Amsterdam and all of you in the world. If you are going through lockdown or a similar sort of uh, approach to things, please let us know down in the comments and tell us how the stories are helping you. That would be much appreciated. And of course, if you are brand brand new to the content, we basically share stories through this uncertain time to bring joy and entertainment to children and those who are young at heart as well as families to keep us entertained through these uncertain times. So, if you enjoy the content, please do subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. And also, so you don't miss out on any of the other tales, click the all notifications bell down below and you won't miss any stories going forward. Talking of the stories, here is what's coming up. So, all throughout this weekend, the stories that are on show are actually going to be on unlisted due to the regulations of our publishers who have granted us permission to read these books. And I'll be honest, two of them are revisits from early on. So today we are kicking off with the wonderful Claire Cool, who is going to be revisiting this gorgeous Judith Kerr classic called Mog and the V.E.T with a huge thank you to Harper Collins for once again granting permission for us to read the book and all their other tales up until New Year's Eve, 31st of December. Tomorrow, thanks to Penguin Kids, and we have the opportunity to have Penguin on until March next year, which is amazing. So thank you, Penguin Kids. We bring you Alan and Janet Alberg's classic, Burglar Bill, which Cassie Hardy actually did early on as well in the channel, but we're bringing it back, especially as we've had a request from a couple of you out there who love this particular tale. So it's up there for you as well. Also coming up over the weekend, myself and Jack Chandler with once again a huge thank you to Scallywag Press for granting us permission to read this tale. We are literally doing at the moment the chapter book for the weekends, which is called Flintlock Bones and the Scepter of the Pharaohs, which is written by the wonderful Derek Kilty. So if you want to find out what happens next today and tomorrow, you can check the playlist for Flintlock Bones, which will be coming up with Mog as well as Burglar Bill at the end of this film. To quickly recap what has happened in the tale so far, Flynn has run away from the orphanage and he's stumbled upon a pirate ship who are actually detectives. So if you like your horrible histories, if you like uh, Captain Pugwash, and if you also like your Sherlock Holmes, this tale is fantastic for children as young as five upwards. So really do make sure you check that out at the end of the video. And we're about to find out in today's episode what this new case that the pirates have afoot. We've also met Red on the pirate ship as well as Captain Watkins, and we're about to meet today the rest of the crew. Tomorrow we see how Flynn settles in to his proper first day of work on the ship. So, Really and truly, guys, it's an exciting period coming up. But of course, if you love your mystery and you are, well, shall we say a minimum of 12 upwards, and of course, adults will love this as well, every Monday to Friday, 
we are focusing on a big chapter book and this one that we're doing is H.G. Wells classic The Invisible Man and I have to say Daniel R. Brown is doing a really good job of it so please do make sure you check him out as well. The playlists that are not featured in today's video you can also catch on our main YouTube landing page under playlists as well so if you like your Invisible Man you can check out the playlist there or if you want to see the tale evolve Monday to Friday every single day then obviously do make sure all the notifications are clicked so you don't miss them out or of course you can catch them up on the playlists as well as check out all the other stories that we have up on our channel. Now guys going forwards all I can say is you stay safe out there these may be uncertain times right now, but the power of words is the real deal, especially if we are going to come out the other side in time for Christmas. And I know it's a little early to be thinking of Christmas, but keep tuning into this channel because I've got something very special planned for Christmas coming up. And I know Philip J. Humphreys is also planning something quite big as well. Shall we say Panto with a new twist? You never know. But please do keep tuning into the channel going forward into the Christmas season. Because quite frankly, guys, we need some joy in our lives and this is the place to be. In the meantime, guys, as always, thank you so much for tuning in and supporting our channel. Please do share the, the stories, do share the channel, and encourage your friends to subscribe to this video as well. In fact, you can see the subscribe button just here, just up here in the left hand corner. So click that button, get subscribing, get sharing the stories, and I will see you next week for another weekly weekend roundup. My name's Sasha Cooper, and this has been Quarantine Kids Storytime. And don't forget to check the unlisted playlist at the very end of this video as well. Take care everybody, stay safe out there and see you next time. Bye bye!